Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Myself, Sunil Kumar Jaiswal, solution consultant for manufacturing at Capricot Technologies Private Limited. And I would like to welcome you all to Tech Tuesday video. And uh, today's topic is how to use rib decal and emboss command in inventor. Before going into session, allow me to introduce our organization. Capricot is India's leading design and construction management technology solution provider for manufacturing, architecture, engineering and construction. And we are one of Autodesk's largest platinum partner and authorized training center. We have more than 300 dedicated team members and Capricot serves over 20,000 clients in manufacturing and related industries. Capricot has contributed significantly to the country adoption of computer added design for more than three decades. We offer the best solution, approaches and practices to increase your productivity and lower project risk. We are delighted to inform you that we have a global footprint to serve you with best of our abilities. Capricot Technology is now part of Arkans Group. So today I'll cover following command, uh, rib command. So what is rib command? Ribs that are parallel to the sketch plane use an open profile to create a single support shape and the specified thickness is normal to the sketch plane and the material is extruded planar to the sketch ribs that are normal to the sketch plane and also called webs use an open or closed profile to create a support shape and uh, decal command so to create a decal you you can insert an image in uh, position to it using constraint and dimension and then apply its decal using decal command on a 3d model tab the decal feature is applied on existing order in an existing part file click and just uh, we can uh, project any images on 3d model And third command is emboss command. So emboss or engrave a face or plane, the emboss feature raises or recesses a profile relative to the model face by specified depth and direction. So let's move into the inventor professional screen and we will see how to perform these commands. As we can see that this is our inventor professional screen and here rip command. So just click on rip command and this uh, specifies window has come and there is your option normal to sketch plane. So first of all, we have to select normal to sketch plane and uh, there is a thickness just I'm giving given a thickness 1 mm and uh, two next option and finite so just i am selecting two next option just select profile so as we can see it will automatically create a rib up to the bottom face Also, we can change the thickness. Suppose I am giving 2 mm, so you can see. And in rip command, second option. So firstly, we have to create a sketch. So just I'm creating a sketch.
just shift command and select second option parallel to sketch plane and just select the sketch profile should be open in for, um, while performing the rip command so as we can see we can change the thickness and there is a finite option i just i'm selecting finite option then rib will look like this and also we can change the thickness like if i change the thickness 1 mm to 2 mm then you can see it will change also 3 mm just i'm giving 1 mm okay so we have two option two next and finite and uh, next command is decal command so just uh, decal command uh, just i am creating a decal command so first we have to save this drawing So next command is uh, firstly we can see emboss command so just select emboss command and just I'm creating a text uh, in, in in any particular plane and just uh, this uh, text is considering as a profile so just select profile and emboss from face so first option emboss from face and select wrap to face option and select faces so you can see this test one mm thickness it will projected on this face okay also just go to edit feature and just i'm selecting engrave from face and just okay so you can see it will cut one mm depth and last option is emboss and engrave from plane so just you can see it will emboss from plane so you can see it will look like this next command is decal command so just i'm creating one cube and here i am i have inserted one logo from capricot technology so just i want to wrap this uh, logo on in this particular face so just for this uh, we can use decal command so just first of first of all we have to click decal command and select images and select faces select face and just click OK button then you can see so for more videos and update do subscribe our channel Capricot technology private limited and like and comment if you like the tech Tuesday video and we would be delighted to hear from you please reach out to us for any suggestion query or topic you would want to discuss see you next week take care bye bye